Hello, my name is Mr. Asprey, and this is Similar Shapes, part of the Edexcel IGCC exam series, which I'm doing. Let's do it. Let's do similar shapes. Okay, we've got two water towers in Kuwait. The real height of tower A is 187 and tower B 147. Ahmed makes a scale model of both towers. The height of tower A in the scale is 90. Work out the height of tower B. Well, here is the big part of similar shapes and that is scale factor. And what I do is I take the larger object and I divide it by the smaller one. And that gives me a scale factor. In this case, it's not gonna be a pretty one. Um, so I might just leave it as a fraction. And then I can apply it. So I've got a tower here, which is 90 centimeters. And tower B, I know is gonna be smaller because A is bigger than B. So in order for me to get from A to B, if it's smaller, I need to divide by the scale factor. So the calculation I need to do is 90 divided by our scale factor. Uh, so I go to my calculator and I do 90 divided by 187 over 147. And that does not give me a nice number, but it does say it's the nearest centimetre, so that does make me feel um, like I've got it right. And that is 70.7. So to the nearest centimetre, that is approximately 71 centimetres. Okay, we've got two similar triangles, A, B, and C, D, E, F. And we're asked to work out the... Um, the length of, of df so first of a little top tip is that they've drawn these little um, angles on there to tell us which angles are the same and therefore even though it is quite obvious with this picture which sides are going to be corresponding so i've got to find a pair of corresponding sides and i'm going to find um these two here, these two are corresponding. They're both opposite the pink angle, so therefore they must be corresponding. And I'm going to say that the scale factor is equal to the larger one divided by the smaller one. So in this case, when I do 15 divided by 6, I get 2.5. Okay, so now I've got to find df, so I'm going to take this corresponding side which is opposite the blue to find df which is also also opposite the blue and because I'm going from the small to the large I have to multiply so it's 4.2 multiplied by 2.5 so on my calculator I do 4.2 multiplied by 2.5 and I get 10.5 okay now I've got to work out BC BC is this side, which is opposite the yellow angle. So opposite the yellow uh, angle on this side is 19.5. I want to go back to the smaller shape, so I'm going to have to divide to go to the smaller shape. So it's 19.5 divided by the scale factor of 2.5. And we get 7.8. And that's that question done. Next question, again, they give us these, um, these little lines which tells us which sides are corresponding. So I can see that these two are corresponding because they're both opposite the uh, double lined angle. So the first thing I would do is I would work out the scale factor, which would be the larger one divided by the smaller one. So 40 divided by 16 which is again 2.5 and if I want to work out DE it's this side here which is opposite the triple angle so it's this side here which corresponds and if I want to go to the bigger shape then I have to multiply so it's 12 multiplied by 2.5 
uh, 2.5 times by 12, which is 30. Okay, and this makes this question slightly trickier that we get told the area of uh, DEF is 5, 2, 5. I need to work out the area of the other triangle. So if I'm going backwards, like this, I'm going to be dividing. But because we're talking about area, which is in the second dimension, I have to take the scale factor and I have to square it. So I need to do 5, 2, 5 divided by the scale factor 2.5 squared because we're in the second dimension. We're converting not between distances or lengths this time, we're now converting between area. So we have to square the scale factor. Um, 2.5, which gives me 84. If you want to see more questions like this, then you check out Similar Shapes Part 2, where I look more at uh, area and volume. Okay, next question, we've got a, um, a nested shape, so um, a, a triangle inside a larger triangle. Now, the trick for these questions is to draw the two triangles out separately. So first off, I draw the smaller yellow triangle. And that would have six down the bottom and four along the side. And then I would draw the just the larger total shape below it, which has 13.5 down the bottom, and it has 11.7 along that side. Okay, so it's quite clear to see that the uh, corresponding sides are the one opposite the angle that they both share. So that's 6 and 13.5. So I find that the scale factor is 13.5, which is the larger one, divided by 6. 13.5 uh, divided by 6, which is uh, 2.25. Okay, now I need to find the uh, length of AB. So AB is in the smaller triangle, and it's the left-hand side. Okay, so it's this side here, and that will correspond to this side here. So I want to go backwards, which means I need to divide. It's so going to go to the smaller one, need to divide. So I'm dividing by 2.25. So I do 11.7 divided by 2.25. And I get an answer of 5.2. Okay, next, the length of ED. Okay, so ED is part of the right-hand side of the larger triangle, but it's not the whole right hand side of the larger triangle. So what I will do is I will work out the right hand side of the larger triangle first. So to do that I will need to go from the smaller to the larger so I need to multiply. So I need to do 4 multiplied by 2.25 and that is equal to 9 and then I need to be a bit savvy because I'm looking for this part here and the whole thing is 9 uh, so I'm looking for that part there which is 9 minus 4 so I can go here that ED is equal to 9 minus 4 which is 5 okay final question uh, we have this uh, shape where we've got these two triangles and the tricky part is to figure out which side corresponds to which. So if we look at the angles, first off, these two are opposite each other, so those two angles are the same. And then this angle here by Z rules, also known as alternate angles, would be the same as this one. And then finally, this angle up here will be the same as this one. So if I look at the sides, uh, this 6 is opposite the yellow, and this 9 is opposite the yellow. So I can use those to work out the scale factor. So 9 over 6 is 1.5. And I'm looking for BC to start with. BC is the side opposite the green, 
So the side opposite the green here is 5.2. So I'll do 5.2 multiplied by 1.5. 5.2 multiplied by 1.5 and that gives me 7.8 and then the next I'm asked for CE well CE is this side here which is opposite the blue and on the larger shape the side opposite the blue is 7.2 so to get to the smaller shape I'll do 7.2 divided by 1.5 and this will give me an answer of 4.8. Okay, similar shapes done. Bosch, there is a harder similar shapes topic where we look at area and volume scale factor. But for now, move on to the next topic and well done.